Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And this time we're demonstrating an AM-FM A-Track out of a 73 uh, Challenger. This comes from John in uh, Fairfield, California. Uh, this is uh, at least the second job that John has sent me. So thank you very much, John, for your repeat business. I guess I did things right the, the first time, so let's let's make sure that we did it right this time too. Uh, this uh, customer has requested the uh, HD Radio Edition, uh, and also the Bluetooth and USB features. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it on. I've got it set to FM at the moment. I have all five presets set to FM stations in my area for a quick test. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And just run through these presets real quick. You're dealing with folks in a situation. Michael Pelka stepping aside. He ain't got my smile. Finding, at least not at the moment. Okay, so there's FM. Let's go over to AM and I get one strong AM station. Well, maybe more than one today. Yep. Okay, so local signal conditions are especially good today because uh, I'm getting two strong, two strong AM stations instead of one. All right, let's make sure the Bluetooth goes into pairing mode. Okay, you can hear that the Bluetooth is ready to pair. Make sure the USB plays my radio commercial. All righty, check our left-right balance control. And then we keep in mind, Tyler Huntley, not much experience, goes to die. All the way left. He put the ball up in the air when he's supposed to go down. Listen to what happened as the Left. Right. Okay. Center him. Okay. And since this unit did not have a front rear fader, there's a built-in front rear fader in the tone control. We activate that by giving our tone control two turns to the right. So the first thing I'll do is is put it center so I've got room to turn it to the right. And here we go. Fader adjust. Uh, okay, so now the same control is adjusting your front rear speaker balance. All the way rear, all the way front, rear. Okay, I'm going to center him again. Fader is set. Okay, that concludes the test. Everything's working. Uh, we've got the uh, USB and Bluetooth, uh, AM, FM. we got the FM stereo light. Make sure that comes on. There's our FM stereo light. Be a little bit closer unit for that. So there's that. So, uh, that concludes the test. And so I'm on. I'm ready to move on to the next video. I'm Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And to reach me for service, please visit the website in the description below and print out a work order. Have your work order in your hand before you call me with a bunch of questions because that's what the work order is for. Uh, you make your choices, my prices, options, turn times, it's all in the work order. Uh, that takes the place of a half hour phone conversation which I just cannot do because I'm needed on the bench. Uh, the work doesn't happen on the phone, it gets done on the bench. So I have to minimize my phone contact. So please do your little homework assignment before calling me. Uh, and thank you so much for watching listening and thank you John for your repeat business from uh, Fairfield, California, and we'll see you guys next time.